どうも、アメジンです。Today, we're going to be learning about phone numbers in Japanese, lesson 13. To review, you only really need to know the numbers 0 through 9. You might remember numbers 1 through 9. The number for 0 has like three different pronunciations.、Um, I believe I showed it to you at least once in the past.、Um, you can either say 0, 0, or 0.0、uh, is from English, 0. 例 has kanji and it actually, like, I think, is the native Japanese pronunciation or word for zero. And then there's maru. Maru is, literally means circle. And sometimes we say this in English、um, o, like 504, you know.、Um, so Japanese has something like that as well. For this lecture, I'm mostly going to stick to zero. Zero. Okay. Our key sentence is Denwa bango wa nanban desu ka? Denwa bango wa nanban desu ka? And our vocabulary is very short today. It's a short lesson. The word for telephone in Japanese is denwa. Denwa.、Uh, number, bango. Bango. So, telephone number would be denwa bango. Okay, denwa bango. What number is nanban? Nanban. Okay. And then the word for ambulance, which you will see a few times in this lesson, is kyukyusha. 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 And then the filler word for like, um, uh, is, ano, ano. You usually use this when you're trying to get someone's attention. Ano, ex, like, excuse me. So we'll see that、uh, a little bit in this lesson. Going on to our grammar, stating telephone numbers. All you have to do to state a telephone number in Japanese is say your numbers, and then wherever there's a hyphen or a dash, you can say no. Okay? No. For example, 私の電話番号は542の9903です。My phone number is 5429903. The bottom example is 99社の電話番号は119です。And that's actually true. The number for an ambulance in Japan is、uh, 111. Now, be careful, there's always exceptions with this kind of stuff.、Um, when you're saying numbers in Japanese, Uh, for the telephone, four and seven,、uh, that would always be pronounced as yon and nana, respectively. All right? Activity one, we're going to read out some Japanese,、uh, some numbers in Japanese. I did mix the formatting a little bit. Some of these are Japanese formatted numbers, and some of these are American formatted numbers. Of course,、um, you can pause the video and try it on your own. I'm going to solve it right now. Number one is to test you with those exceptions that I just showed you. Uh, all fours and all sevens. So, number one would be, yon 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 no, e na 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 na. Right? Yon 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 no, na 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 na. Yeah, that's number one. Number two, hachi hachi ichi no, zero zero san loku. Alright? Number three, hachi ichi no, yon kyu kyu no, yon na na yon ni. Number four, hachi ichi no, go 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 no, ni ni hachi loku. Okay? And number five is 954の583の9479 All right. And last but not least, number six.、Uh, there is a plus in front of the one. You can ignore that. All right. 1の808の555の4003 All right. And here are all of those pronunciations written out in bold. So, when you want to ask for someone's telephone number, just say, Denwa bango wa nan desu ka? Denwa bango wa nan desu ka? Alright, you've got Denwa bango, which is phone number wa, is the topic. Alright, nan desu ka means what is it? Literally, what is your phone number? You will also hear people ask, Denwa bango wa nan ban desu ka? This is probably more、uh, correct gra- grammatically, but、um, you will hear both in Japanese society. Denwa bango wa nan ban desu ka? Ano, Denwa bango wa nan ban desu ka?、Uh, what's your number? That might sound a little strange in English, but in Japanese, to get someone's attention、uh, or to start asking another question that's kind of off topic, Ano, you can start with Ano, Denwa bango wa nan ban desu ka? To which someone replies, Ichi 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 no. 6542です。So if you want to give your phone number, just the number this. Alright, this is used for a lot of things,、uh, as you know. 
Activity 2, answer each question based on the dialogue shown. So let's read the dialogue first. The girl in pink says, Ano, Mark no denwa bango wa nan desu ka? So she's asking uh, Mark, I assume this guy's name is Mark, uh, for his phone number. And he says, Watashi no denwa bango 670-4431 desu. Katie no denwa bango wa? Remember that wa plus question mark acts like what about this or how about yours and she says ah na 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 no na 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 this <laughs> mark replies eh na 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 no na 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 this ka so you can see the uh, exclamation mark and question mark together he's kind of surprised and startled i would be too if a girl gave me that number maybe she doesn't want to give him her real number and that's a fake one Anyways, um, let's answer the questions. Pause the video right now. If you want to try it on your own, I'm going to solve it now. Number one, kare no namae wa nan desu ka? Kare, remember, is he. Kare no his. Namae, name. His name wa nan desu ka? What is it? What is his name? Mark desu. Mark. Number two, kanojo no namae wa nan desu ka? What is her name? Her name is Katie. Katie des, Katie des. Number three, kare no denwa bango wa nan ban desu ka? So what is his number, Mark's number? Mark no denwa bango wa 670 no 4431 desu. Number four, kanojo no denwa bango wa nan ban desu ka? This is kind of a mouthful, but kanojo no, nan, uh, kanojo no uh, denwa bango wa nan 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 no nan 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 desu. <laughs> Number five, what is his reaction to her phone number? Um, surprised, like startled, shocked, all these words that begin with S. Uh, the answers are right here. We have another activity, activity three. Answer each question based on the meishi shown. So meishi are business cards in Japanese. You will typically see people who work for a company or graduate students at a university holding these. Uh, and they always have them on their person. Sometimes you'll see an undergraduate student at a university have them, but it's usually graduate students and people who work at companies, basically anyone who works in Japan. Um, I, before we answer the questions, I want to kind of explain this part of Japanese culture, because this is actually a significant part of Japanese culture. The book I follow for these lectures kind of does go into it a little bit and explains it. You have two types. You have a vertical meishi and a horizontal meishi. Uh, with the vertical meishi, everything follows the Japanese reading uh, pattern or order, so top right to bottom left. And then the uh, horizontal meishi follows the English pattern, top left to bottom right. And it always starts with a company name or a, a university name here, and then the person's affiliation or role in that organization. Uh, this person's a representative of some sort and this person belongs to the law department. And then you have uh, your name in the very middle. This is the last name first and then the first name last. It's the opposite uh, from Western culture. This is the last name or the family name and this is the first name or the given name. Sometimes uh, Japanese will have their name in gomaji or English letters uh, right below or next to their name in Japanese. And then it ends always with uh, contact information, usually a mail address, and then a telephone number or a fax number or an email, as you see here. So, with all that in mind, uh, let's answer the questions. Number one, Iwata-san no denwa bango wa nan ban desu ka? Well, first we need to find who is Iwata-san. So just look at this kanji, look at these characters, and match it. Is it this person? Nope. Is it this person? Yes. This is Iwata-san. That's his family name. Alright? Iwata-san no denwa bango wa nan ban desu ka? So it's asking for his phone number, and we would look in on this side with the contact information, and we know from the letters T-E-L for telephone that this is his phone number right here. So the answer could be Iwata-san no denwa bango wa zero san no yon kyu yon go no rokuichi go nana desu. 
Number two, Oyama-san no denwa bango wa nanban desu ka? So here's Oyama-san and her denwa bango. Her phone number is 03-1192-9940 no no desu. Okay. Number three, Oyama-san no yubin no bango wa nanban desu ka? So this um, symbol right here stands for the post or the mail in Japanese. Um, you can see it here at the top of her contact information and at the beginning of his contact information, Iwata's contact information. It means mail. So I'm just going to say yubin uh, for this symbol, uh, which means mail in Japanese. So, Oyama san no yubin no bango wa nan desu ka? What is uh, Oyama's mail number, basically? And it's right here next to the symbol. So it would be 123-0063 no desu. And similarly, Iwata-san no yubi no bango wa nanban desu ka? Right here, 4-5-6-2-5-0 no desu. All right, not too hard. There are the answers. And we're ending the lesson now. Activity 4, listening practice. Read or uh, listen as I read two compositions twice. Listen and write down what you hear. I'm going to start a little slower for the first one and then a little faster for the second one. So prepare yourself. Number one. Watashi no denwa bango wa ni ni zero no nana ichi yong san desu. Watashi no denwa bango wa ni ni zero no nana ichi yong san desu did you get all that if you need more time pause the video i'm going to show the answer right now watashi no denwa bango wa ni ni zero no nana ichi yong san desu okay number two kare no denwa bango wa hachi ichi no kyu yon ni no yon roku ni ni desu Kare no denwa bango wa hachi ichi no kyu yon ni no yon roku ni ni desu. Pause the video if you need more time. I'm going to show the answer right now. Kare no denwa bango wa hachi ichi no kyu yon ni no yon roku ni ni desu. All right. Activity 5 translation practice. Translate the following statements into either English or Japanese. Uh, pause the video, try it on your own. I'm going to solve it right now. The first guy says, Ano denwa bango wa nan desu ka? Well, we know this means, um, excuse me, what's your phone number? Um, what's your phone number? Is fine. Bottom guy says, What is the number of the ambulance? Do you remember the word for ambulance? Kyu kyu sha. Kyu kyu sha. So, um, the Japanese for this would be, Kyu kyu sha no denwa bango wa nan ban desu ka? Or, nan desu ka? Doesn't have to be nan bang, can be nan desu ka. All right. And we're back to our key sentence. Denwa bango wa nan ban desu ka? Which now you know means what is your phone number? And speaking of what is your phone number, our homework for today is just that. What is your phone number in Japanese? Um, please don't share it in the comments below. I'm, I'm warning you that's a bad idea. You might get some unwanted phone calls and or text messages from people you have no idea exist. Uh, so just write it down in a journal or on a piece of paper somewhere. Write out how you would say it in Japanese. Don't forget the no for the hyphens in between the letters. And as always, there is a worksheet that accompanies this lesson. You can find it on my website. Link in the description below. And that's about it, guys. Thanks for sticking around for this lesson. I hope it was helpful for you. Um, continue to watch my videos and learn more Japanese. And I'll see you guys in a future lecture.